Hi, and welcome to this month's edition of Does This Have Gum In It? I'm Harold Nickel. I'm the Marketing Manager here at TIC Gums, and with me, as always, is Maureen Aikens, the gum guru. Now, in this installment of Does This Have Gum In It? We're going to talk about powdered protein beverages. There are two parts of our population that are going to these drinks more now than ever. One are athletes. The second are people who are getting a little older who still want to remain active and are looking for nutritious ways to supplement their diets. They both have things that they want in their powdered beverages, a smooth, good tasting experience. Let's talk about how gums can help make that transition. Sure. One of the uh, biggest challenges with this is that, generally speaking, nutritional ingredients don't really taste very good. Uh, so you have to do a lot of things uh, from a flavor perspective to make sure that that's okay. But certainly, uh, and what we would say at TSA Gums, more importantly, is the textural attributes that you have to make sure that you maintain uh, in these types of beverages. So uh, we want to make sure that, number one, that you have stability. This is a very short shelf life product, which makes it even a little bit easier to stabilize. And secondly, we want to make sure that eating experience is as good as you could possibly make it. So let's make sure we have good mouth coating, we have nice cling, uh, so that we can actually enjoy getting something that's nutritious. When these beverages first came out several decades ago, and I was drinking them, like you said, they didn't taste very good, right. and they were lumpy. It seems like, though, now advances in different kinds of artificial sweeteners and ways to stabilize these drinks have really advanced. Let's explore that a little bit. A lot of ingredients actually in these formulations have been dramatically improved. So certainly there's many, many different types of proteins now. Uh, there are lots of different ways that you can uh, sweeten them, flavor them to make them a little bit more enjoyable. And actually we've just focused more on the texture. We decided that it was really important to pay attention to actually that entire eating experience. And for us, uh, the stability portion of a short shelf uh, life product is, is the easy part. It's making sure that you get the whole rest of the picture, that full mouth feel, uh, that coating sensation that you desire uh, to make it feel like, you know, maybe more of a milkshake-like consistency as opposed to I'm just drinking some protein that I've mixed in water. Yeah, the, the lumpiness was what always bothered me. And we've got this drink here that looks very smooth and, and very appealing. So let's talk then about some of the different kinds of gums and gum systems that will go into these kinds of protein drinks. Certainly in this type of protein drink, we're gonna to try to make sure that we have the appropriate viscosity, which can come from something like cellulose gum or guar or xanthan. And then we wanna make sure that we have something that's gonna provide those other textural attributes, those things that make you enjoy them more, mouth coating, mouth cling. And those are gonna come from things like carrageenan. So Maureen, when we're talking about these different gums and different gum systems, what are the kinds of things that food developers are gonna be looking for? Certainly, they want it to be as easy as possible for their customers to use it. So we wouldn't need for it to disperse well in whatever water or milk source that you're using. You need to make sure that it hydrates rapidly or whatever your um, requirements are for your drink. Most of the time, they want it to be rapid. And then we want it to have all those great drinking characteristics. We want it to have all the textural attributes that are going to make your customer buy it a second and a third time. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for your technical insight mm -hmm. into these types of drinks. For the rest of you who would like to know more about how to use gums and gum systems in protein beverages or anything else for that matter, visit us online at www.ticgums.com. You can also call the Gum Guru hotline or chat live with us. Please be sure to come back with us next month for another edition of Does This Have Gum In It?